Welcome to the scum story that I'm going to create. Um, so I'm just going to get started. Well, I'm back at my base. Uh, the other day I spotted a motorbike. I stashed it and filled it with some gas. The problem is that it doesn't fit onto the car. So, before I head out, better empty my bladder here. Wouldn't want to uh, uh, it's gonna be all kinds of things that it's gonna happen that I have no idea that it's gonna come. But I've gotta travel across some mountains probably through the wintry night, so I brought a lot of clothing with me. And hopefully enough food. I wish I could find a better way to travel, but whatever I use to travel, I'm going to have to go back and get it. So, uh, since I'm getting a dirt bike, I might as well get there by foot. Not a lot of fun. A lot of work. So I'm going to travel uh, northeast or southwest. I brought a... Uh, handgun with a silencer. I got my bow and I got a double barrel shotgun. That's not quiet. So hopefully I don't need to use a shotgun on this trip. But we'll be traveling through some pretty cold stuff here. Might as well go along the lake as much as possible. Sometimes you could run when it's cleared, so I'm going to run down this hill here. It's kind of mid-afternoon, but it's a little dark. Dark clouds are above us. And you don't lose, use a lot of energy when you're running down a hill. I just don't like to run into the puppets. There hasn't been a lot of puppets around today. But I'm sure I'll run into them. I got my handgun ready. I'm gonna take a break here from running. I'm gonna take a listen. You could press right mouse button, then you get to listen. Doesn't sound bad. Pretty quiet. So, do I keep running? Hmm. It's good to take a look to see if she can, if that's what I'm going to do. Decided I will keep running. I'm going to run to this lookout, take a look around for enemies. Um, oh, we got trouble already. I think we'll just have to take them out. Skinny one, so one arrow might be enough. Alright, see, that's what you gotta watch, you don't run into. Now, I'm trying to decide do I want to walk through the water, get my feet wet? Now, this is a survival thing, so my feet are already wet, so I don't know why they're wet, but they are. So it won't hurt anything. I pretty well at some point. The only way to get your boots dry, it seems that you have to make a fire and just put your boots there and wait forever. And that hasn't been a good deal for me. But I'm going to just walk through here. It looks pretty shallow, so my wet feet that are already wet are just getting wet again. My feet are soaking wet. A little so message on the left side of the screen likes to remind me. But let's go take a look. I don't have a long range weapon at all. My handgun is probably the... and the bow is actually pretty good for long range, so... Did he leave me anything? Oh. That might come in handy. We gotta cross that bridge there. 
beautiful uh, day for the lake. Should have brought my fishing rod. But otherwise, looking around, I don't see too much trouble. I'm probably going to run most of the bridge, but there's definitely going to be some trouble at the bridge. There always is. Oh, see, there is something right there. Well, we'll have to take it out on our way. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, that's because we're by the bridge. Yeah, hopefully I don't need to use my handgun. And I really don't want to miss because it means looking for an arrow. So, two arrows. Oh shit, I think I missed. Jesus. I hate missing. So what I'm going to do is try and sneak up and grab my arrows here. I got a fourth one somewhere. So what I'm going to do is take this one out. I could do headshots, but... I don't want to have to look for my arrows. Not a good start when you're missing your arrows already. boy. Missing one arrow. I don't think I'll find it. <clears throat> there better be three here. Better search the body here. No, I, I, I'm losing arrows here. What is going on? Oh. Thought that I went this way. We're starting off by losing arrows already off the dot. Oh, here it is. Good. Only lost one. Oh. Can we run now? It'd be a little faster. When you run, you consume a lot more energy. But I would like to beat the cold of the night. So there's a little bit of a time in the essence here. Always look to your side too, because those puppets could be there. Now we're going over a ridge here, so you don't know what's over that ridge, so best be prepared. I'm gonna probably hide in that little bush there, look around. But this is pretty much how you can move now if there were a lot of players on this um, might be moving a little differently. I think I'd probably move more into the tree line as I approach the bridge, but I know that there's not a lot of players right now. Right. So looking at my vitals, getting a little thirsty, you know, I better drink. Let's see here. I think I'm going to go grab some water from the lake here. I do got other things to drink, but I should be fine. But let's, uh, this nice fresh water. And that'll probably force me to go to the bathroom again, but hey, that's how it works. So I'm not seeing any trouble, so I'm going to do is start running. Oh, I have never seen this before. I don't remember this little cabin. Huh. So I'll check it out. Could spend the night here. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. There's a boat here. All right. How much? That's not going to save a lot of time. But it'll be safer to cross the lake this way. 
All right, and we could put whatever we find in the boat. You know, I really like to start wearing those. Because when I go into the boat, my feet will get wet. And I got wet feet and it's going to get cold. <coughs> I wish we could put a motorcycle in the boat. But apparently there's no way to do that. There's no bed up here. Nobody's... Oh well. So, we got a nice boat here. It's probably got lots of gas. And I'm going to change into some boots here. Problem with my... Darn it. <laughs> Alright, I need to get this stuff out of my boots here first. Because I'm not going to be able to wear these. These are not waterproof. And so that's kind of a problem. Um, Got to figure out how to get them dry. But now, see, I should be able to walk in the water now, right? See? My feet are not wet. And these are not waterproof. So here we got it's a boat. Well, let's see here. Gas is full. I could put some odds and ends in there that we don't need right now for for now. But I want to gonna I'm gonna want to get a gas tank and probably empty the gas out of this boat and move it. But right now I don't have that on me. So look at that. I stepped in a boat and my feet didn't get wet. So we're just going to use the boat to cross the lake. Um, kind of curious of what's there too. Oh, let's do that here. It's supposed to be a waterfall here. This is supposed to be a dam. make a little base under these. Oh, might hide the boat here. Looks like a good hiding spot. And we might have pissed off a puppet on the bridge. I'm not sure. I think we should get ready. This is a really interesting hiding spot. Would anybody think to ever look here for something? Can you hide a chest here maybe? I think you could. It's always good to look for good hiding spots. You could probably build a base here. Never thought of that. And see, you can't really see the base unless you actually decide to go down here. So, that's interesting. I'm not sure if you can build a base there, but... I run the server, so I could change things. Okay, so we're going to go this way. I'm surprised there's no puppets here yet. I don't remember ever coming here. Well, we can take a look. For those who like the view, this is the dam. Here, a puppet. That's a pretty jump. That's a good way to die. But it is possible. 
I'm too heavy to make a jump like that, but look how beautiful this is. I mean, you could go anywhere on the map, even in that little ocean part if you have a boat. But that's the extent of the island. The other side over there, that's not. You can't get there. But anywhere else you see, you see a little wall back there. Can't get on the other side. But there's a big city down there. <clears throat> if you look uh, down there, that's actually a pretty big city. <clears throat> but we're going this way. And it's going to get cold. I bet that's why I brought lots of extra clothing. And hopefully I make use of that. I don't think I'll fall over, but I should be going, yeah, see, southwest. I got a good sense of direction. Might be from my experience, I don't know. But you know, here's another good spot for a base. And a base with a beautiful view, and nobody would see it, unless you were on the other side, maybe. You might spot it. But you know, not too many people run around along that ridge. <clears throat> I have once ran right along that ridge a long time ago. There was nothing much to it. It wasn't really... See, I'm feeling slightly chilly already. So let's... Uh, let's put on this jacket. There. Nice biker jacket. Alright. So, given the terrain, you could easily run into something. So that's why I got my handgun out. And keep a bearing. Probably run into some interesting things. Once I get on the motorbike, shit see that that's what I'm talking about and you gotta watch for the puppets that heard the gunshot I could have killed it with the bow maybe but I'm not messing around on this trip there's another one. Oh, there's a bear or that sounds like something. We're not going to hunt. We got lots of food. Maybe there's another puppet. Now, if I would have used my shotgun, that puppet would have come around and after me, too. Hmm. I remember puppets are basically dead prisoners like me that uh, died. But there's a device in the back of your head, which I don't know if you can see it here. Can't. I have to take my helmet off. Can you see it? I don't know. Can't see it. My hair's too long. If you were to be cloned, when you die, you're cloned and you're you're just shot back out of a plane. And I haven't died for a very long time, so my hair is probably pretty long. And it covers up that that device. Okay, that that bear is close. Um, going to take a shotgun out for that. And if I hit it with the shotgun, it's definitely going to run. Well, I'll make sure to go my bearing. I don't need to go towards. See, the bear's that way, so. Yeah, the bear's on the right, so I think we could just miss it. And you never know what you're going to run into on these travels. More puppets. So I think we could switch to our silencer pistol here. Better take a look at the... Um, I think I forgot to check my ammo when I left the base. 12 out of 15, that's not too bad. I have another clip. And then I have... A <clears throat> box of ammo I just opened up. 9mm, so... 
I think I'm well armed. The uh, bear is uh, behind us now. Ah, a lot of meat in a bear. You want to be by a freezer and a generator when you hunt for a bear, which I've done. I've done on a previous video on my introduction to scum. But I'm trying to create a story here by letting you watch how the survival basically going from point A to point B for, through some pretty rough terrain. See, look at this. I mean, there's no easy way around this. Looking at the map here, I had to go here, so I had to continue southwest. That way, great. So I'm going to have to go around. You can... <coughs> you can fall on a, on a slope like this, you know. So you want to be careful. See, there's a road down there. Um, what does that road do? Yeah, you know what? We need to we're, we need to cross the road. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're going to beat the dark. That's what I wanted to do. So we might as well work our way to the road. Survival, uh, any survive if you've had any survival training, roads are good when you're lost in the woods. You just gotta decide which way you're going. In this case, I want to continue my direction because I know where I'm going. And typically, with other human survivors like me around, you really don't want to be too close to the road. No, see, I got a car. They could have a car. So there are usually tra lots of travelers along the road. See, there's the two sets of the roads we saw. So you tend to get into more trouble. <coughs> but you use it, the road as, you know, something to follow along, not necessarily to walk on. I mean, this is, this is a, oh, shit. See how they jump there? That was weird. Now you gotta look around. Again, I could have used my bow on that one, but I'm a little more I don't know, itchy. On guard. Sometimes they got money on them. But usually it's nothing worth of value. You know, if you got no clothes or run around naked, there is a way to fix their clothes. Make some good use out of them, but I think in my case I'm gonna stay along the ridge here. See this would be Somebody draw up by, they would never see me. That's the way I like it. See, I could hide here. Could even surprise attack somebody if I wanted to, but there isn't going to be anybody. <coughs> it's pretty much just me on this island. I pretty much have it all to myself except for the puppets. Oh, there's the other road. Look at that. Didn't even see that coming. I need to continue this direction. So I don't think I need to cross this one. I'm probably moving too fast here. I hear something. That's why you need the headset. I can't see him, that's why I don't like it when I can't see him. There he is. Now, if I could use my bow, hmm, I can't miss. If I miss, my arrow's going to go flying. So I'm going to aim for the stomach here. Shit. Gets a little scary when they get close, don't they? Where did he go? Oh, here he is. All right. 
you don't want to lose arrows. Now, if I if I did a headshot, I was taking a chance on losing the arrow, missing the head, you know. Well, I thought I'd get there sooner, but I'm getting some delays. Uh, let's see, let's have a look at this ridge here. It's not so bad. If I had no food, I would hunt that thing. But there's another puppet there. Ah, uh, shit, I'm gonna take it out. Sometimes I don't like the rocks because the arrows get lost. See, if I miss this one, I know that it'll be in that rock. <clears throat> I like it when I don't have to make noise. follow the road, that's for sure. But the other road is just below it. We're probably going to drive up this road on the motorcycle. What's nice about the dirt bikes is you could do more the off-terrain, but I just want to play it safe, stay on the road and get it home. <coughs> it gives me another option. It uses less gas to travel. But, you know, the car, I could store a lot of stuff on the car. Where a dirt bike, I can't store anything. This is what I'm carrying. And there's another one. Let's see, do I need to... I don't like to uh, draw too much attention, but... Maybe I could avoid him. Let's switch to my gun here. He's not going to find me. Let's just hope this isn't too big of a drop. You know, if I start running, he'll probably hear me. Oh boy. This is getting to be quite a bit of a drop. It's going to get warmer, folks. But, uh, see down there? That's the little village where that dirt bike is hidden. Well, I didn't hide it very well, so let's not brag about my hiding skills. I put it in a garage. Now, ideally would have been to lock the bike and lock the garage doors. I didn't have locks. This is why I need to go get the dirt bike before somebody else finds it. It's got about half a tank of gas. I kind of estimated how long it would take to get it back. You know, worst case scenario, if I do run out of gas, I shouldn't, but I guess I'll just have to go and get the gas, <clears throat> fill it up, use the car, fill it up again, and then make my way back to get it, which would suck. It's starting to warm up here. <sighs> all right, let's take this. You got it. You got to strip clothing all the time in this game. Um. Luckily, I, I didn't have to go through the night. So, if you see, I have a sweater. You know, I'm, I am wearing some other layered clothing I could take off. You know, I'm, I was supposed to take... Well, there they are. A scarf. So, I brought extra clothing for nothing. But, hey, you don't know. I could have been spending the night in these winter woods. Looking at the time here. 4.30. Oh, it did pretty good. Just need to watch. Don't spray it. Oh, shit. Damn it. Now I'm going to use my bow here. Yeah, I got him right in the head. Look at that. There's another one up the road. See, that was a headshot we're taking. <clears throat> uh, might need a battery. Won't 
hard to carry something small like that. Okay. Now we got that puppet over there. We're going to leave it alone. It doesn't know that I'm there. It's walking the other way. I better get my pistol back. I don't need a surprise around the rocks here. You got to think about everything. That's how I'm still alive. Your life is challenged every day here. And I don't like this drop. Um, so I'm going to go around the garage is on the other side of the village. So I'm going to work my way around the village. No need to do some looting yet. I could do some looting once I got my bike there. Just want to make sure the bike's ready to go. I could probably fill up my backpack with some goods. Wouldn't hurt. What do I need? I don't need a lot. I need, uh, seem to be like metal scraps seem to be some of my biggest things in the way. You know, I could use some mushrooms. This looks like prime mushroom. Hmm. Let's see if we see any around. Oh, I'm getting hot. Well, I'm going to take these off. Oh, maybe I should throw it there. Good chance I might take that off too, but... But, you know, this looks like a good mushroom area. Gotta look for a little white... A little white thing sticking out of the ground. Yeah, there's probably puppets in that village, so... We don't want to draw too much attention yet. What do we got there? Yeah, no mushrooms. Slightly warm. See, I'm starting to get hot. So... I was thinking I was probably going to need to do that. Now, looking at my other stuff. Could switch out my boots. Since it's hot, maybe it'll dry them out. You can see the there's a little red sign there and there's the blue sign there. If you look at it, it's pretty wet. But you see it's drying now. So maybe that's the way to dry it. If it's too cold, it's not gonna dry. This freezes, right? For those that are from Minnesota, you know how that works. <laughs> okay, so if I was in a survival situation, there's berries that I could eat, but I got a lot of I got a lot of food on me, and there's also some uh, vegetables, plants over there. See, there's probably some cucumbers in there. I don't know, I, I don't have a food problem. Here's some potato plants here. And some carrots, I think. I don't know, is that a carrot? No, that, those are uh, parsnips. That well, could be a little snack for later. So this was the garage that I hid my bike in. So let's go check it out. Bike is there, yes, all right. Nobody found it. Um, Let's see here, it looks get some bolts here. I don't know if we need them or not, but we just used up a lot, so I do need to start replacing stuff, but so many bolts. Lots of bolts. Now let's hope that my garbage. Alright. So, if we look at the bike, no lock on it, there's that gas it's still got. It's actually got some battery power, but what's nice about the dirt bike is that you don't need a battery to get it started. You know, you got the kickstart, remember? So, it might be a good way to charge a battery. So, we'll, we'll take a look at it later. 
but right now, yeah, let's get it out of the garage here. I'll show you how it rides. Just hit the hit S or F. No. I guess you have to hit W to get it started. I should have turned it around. But. Alright. Well, now that we got our mission, we could decide what we want to do here. Um, let's, uh, run around and loot this place. I got the lots of room in my backpack here. We go looking around. I don't think I need feathers. It's usually a good spot to get feathers here. But I have found some interesting things here at times. Nothing here today. Now I better get my uh I really can't die right now. There's no water in that well. We're going to check on the, this side of the road. You don't want normally cross the road too often. That's kind of a... We just peek in here. If we see anything interesting. There's a <coughs> chicken coop. Might find some feathers and eggs, but I don't need that. Um, house here. I don't know. I don't need a lot of things in a house unless I can see it. But when you first start, you need a lot. The houses are pretty important. You know, here's a. Uh, let's use our bowl here. We're gonna jump in. What the hell just happened? Okay, here we go. A little workshop. Might have some goodies. Um, you can make bullets out of those things. There's no water in that, but it's probably just a couple of drops. So. Oh, look at that. What is that? Oh, <laughs> a gas mask. That'll probably have some value, and it looks cool. Don't need to wear a gas mask. Nobody's going to gas me. Oh, screwdrivers are always good. Um, you use them to... Uh, I don't know what a gravel bag is for yet. We were supposed to look at that. So we'll just pick it up here and, and look at it. Bag fill the gravel and mix concrete. 